Hi everyone, welcome to Networkings. My name is Atul. So let's discuss about the roadmaps up from Networkings. Uh, so we are uh, training people on multiple technologies like network security, cloud security, DevOps, and cyber security. So when you go to our pricing and plans, so we have multiple plans. So one is for essential. Like if you are a beginner, you can go for this plan, which is essential pass. Then we have all access pass and then we have a live access pass. So in the essential pass, you get all the fundamental courses like CCNA, MCSA. So like if you are a fresher, you want to start your IT career, you can go for this essential pass. Okay. And then we have all access pass. Okay, where you can go from CCNA to advanced level of courses, CCNP, firewalls, cloud security courses, DevOps. So if you click here, so now we have multiple roadmaps. Okay, so all access English means you can access the courses in English and we have Hindi also. So now this is the list of courses we have ASA firewall. Office 365, so all the things. So let's not talk about the courses, talk about the roadmap. So how you can become a network security engineer in 2024. Okay, so now you can see here, the, these. this is the mandatory roadmap. So you have to start with CCNA, then CCNP to CCI, normally it will take four to six months, then Cisco SD-WAN, then Palo Alto Firewall, then Python for network engineers. And maybe second year on, so you have to take the membership. So the more uh, the technologies you want to cover, so it totally depends on you. Okay, so you can go for CCNP data center, security, checkpoint, F5. So this is just a recommended roadmap. Okay, and we have seen in the jobs, like a lot of people are asking these technologies in the network engineer jobs. And uh, by learning these technologies, if you are on 2 lakhs, 5 lakhs, 7 lakhs, 10 lakhs, you can go with the, the, these technologies knowledge, you can go up to 20 to 30 lakhs CTC within few years. Depends on your current experience. And if you are a fresher, you can go up to 20 lakhs within next three years if you start your career today. So then we have cyber security engineer. So we have certified ethical hacking, CompTIA pen test, CYSA. Okay, and CSSP, there are other courses also in the cyber security. So you can start your career in cyber security also. But the recommendation is you can start with very basic, like you can start with the Linux, Active Directory, and then you can learn the CCNA. And then after that, you can start with CH, Pentest, CYSA. So this is the roadmap for cyber security. So this is a minimum roadmap we are talking about. Okay, and then we have cloud security is in high demand. So we recommend people to have basic IT knowledge. And after that, if you already have IT knowledge, you can skip this. And then we will work on Azure 104, Azure 500, 700. And with every every uh, like uh, course, we are working on some quizzes also. After watching all the videos, you will be able to see these type of quizzes and you will be going to answer these uh, quizzes after like uh, watching any of our video. Okay, so like you can see, so which of the following protocols has administrative distance. So these are the questions. So this is how you cover after every video, we will be going to add these type of quizzes so that you can test your knowledge. And then once you complete the course, you can go and get certified also. Okay, within next, so we have recently added to CCNA. So uh, within next two months, we will be adding all the quizzes in all the courses. So now cloud security is phenomenal. It is amazing right now in the market today. So if you start your career in cloud security within next two, three years, three years, you can be in 25 lakhs. So already if you have very good CTC, suppose you have already 15 to 20 lakhs already as a network security engineer, definitely this is the right plan for the network and network security engineers if they want to move in cloud security. So after that, we have DevOps master program. So DevOps is also very, very important because once you learn the network security, cloud security, then directly also you can get into DevOps. But yes, after network security, cloud security, then you can also learn the DevOps because DevOps is for everyone, whether you are a fresher, whether you are uh, you have the network security experience, 
But if you are a network engineer, I would recommend you to start with cloud security first, then go to the DevOps because then you will be able to understand these technologies very easily because you have very good knowledge on cloud and in our DevOps program, you have a lot of things on cloud. Okay, because of the Docker, Ansible, Jenkins, Grafana, Prometheus, Zabbix, all this is a full roadmap plan. Okay, and all the training is delivered by a DevOps engineer, cyber security delivered by cyber security engineers and uh, the network security courses are from the network security guys. So now the last uh, thing, uh, so we are coming with very big discount. Okay, and that is uh, we are going to launch in next two days okay so for that so if you are already in our uh, telegram channel so you can see there is a whatsapp channel or this link i'll be posting in the this video description or comments so just join this whatsapp channel and all the updates we will be running a sale of uh, five days the uh, the first date would be up to 60 70 percent okay that you will be getting all the updates on these bundles we have launched so it is right now on uh, currently it is on 40 it can go 60 50 then you you will get all the updates in that whatsapp group okay so by learning the last thing i want to say so when you learn all the modules maybe it will take two years three years Okay, so they it you can get certified in all the technologies like GCP, Cisco courses, Microsoft, CompTIA, Red Hat, Paul Alto, Fortinet, Juniper, AWS, Checkpoint, EC Council. Okay, and you can make your career into or four domains. Okay, any of four domains. But if you learn all the things together, not very in depth, but suppose from network security you have CCN and firewall knowledge. From cloud security you have the knowledge of AWS Azure from cyber security you have knowledge of certified ethical hacking and you have the knowledge of devops then the best thing you can get into some job roles which are highly paying in the market which is devsecops so what is a devsecops engineer which stand for development security and operation and if you check okay so if you check about the job roles and responsibilities of these guys okay so there are many many companies who are hiring job uh, like DevSecOps engineer. So normally they maintain the security because you have cloud security and cyber security knowledge. Okay. So you have cyber security knowledge. You have the cloud knowledge, how you manage infrastructure, you have networking knowledge. And so then you have all the basic knowledge also from the IT basics. So all four modules can help you to get into DevSecOps. Okay, this is the roadmap. If you want to get all the knowledge on DevSecOps, okay, like from Docker to the thing, every every technology, you do not have to be expert on all domains, but yes, you have to be jack of all trades and uh, master of none because uh, DevSecOps role is like that only. Okay, but yes, if you are the best thing about this plan that you may, if you do not get a job on DevSecOps, maybe you will find your best interest level that you are more interested in network security, cloud security, maybe cyber security. And uh, by, by, so what is the schedule like Monday, Tuesday, you can give to network security. Okay. And Thursday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, you can go for cloud security. Then maybe on Friday, you just give to cyber security. So DevOps, you may learn on Saturday and Sunday, you can just take a break for your family and all. So by giving two, two days or so two days to your current role, because if you're already working in network domain, so give two days at least to network security, because that is giving you bread and butter. Okay. So one day you can allocate to cloud security. One day you can allocate to cyber security and one day to DevOps. Okay. So like, uh, you can. Um, so if you ask a chat GPT, suppose if you go to chat GPT and say that, yes, I'm looking for, uh, uh, like, can you create, I want to make a career. I want to make, make a career in DevSecOps. Okay. And I want to learn the courses of network security, cloud security, cyber security and DevOps. 
okay so i want to learn six days a week one hour daily so create create a schedule for me with random order okay i want to give high preference to my current job that is network engineer okay and want to get ready for devsec ops in next one year okay so this is like uh, you can ask chat gpt and you can see create a balance schedule so you can see monday tuesday thursday so this is weekly plan and you can mention the time also that how okay and uh, ask this to create a calendar file okay create create a calendar file for me okay so now you can see it is a calendar file uh, or you can ask this create calendar cal file for google sheet okay so just give escape enter this okay so you can see this is the csv format you can save this as a google csv sheet and then import in the calendar so automatically the time will be automatically it will show you in the calendar that what is your schedule for today okay like if you see this is my time slots that from 10 am to 4 pm i give to networkings then 4 to 6:30 i create content and then some 8 to 9 fitness slot and if i want to learn so this is my learning and youtube slot so if i'm doing on anything on youtube or maybe i'm learning some new skills so this is how you can create the repeat option also that yes i want to repeat this daily or maybe monday to weekday whatever okay so manage this so it will keep giving you reminder so definitely you are going to miss i also miss a lot of things from here maybe i do not follow sometimes but at least it will keep giving you reminder and it is not giving you reminder according to the task it is like a big slot okay this is how you can manage and able to get into devops or cloud security just imagine if you prepare for the highest level of job automatically you will build a career in any of the domain with high paying salary so better it's like you prepare for ias but you become ips or any other uh, uh, defense officer this is the same way if you prepare for devsecops so you will automatically prepare for other multiple domains and maybe if you do not become a devsecops you can become a cloud security engineer or maybe devops engineer not devsec or maybe network security so all the best guys and just to join the whatsapp group for the best biggest offer by networkings and the sale will run for around 5 days okay the first day will be the highest level of discount okay so don't miss it see you soon thank you bye bye